from Isaiah chapter 9. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. These words of Isaiah are often seen as words that foretell and foreshadow the coming of Jesus of Nazareth, born of Mary. The truth is, these words befit him because this child changed the world. This child changes lives. This child changes us. I remember when our oldest daughter was a baby. My wife and I were um, young, footloose, fancy free, married. When we wanted to go out to eat dinner, we went out to eat dinner. We made decisions at the last minute to go to a movie, and we just went. Uh, we wanted to do one thing, we just did it. We actually had money, a little bit. We could pretty much do what we wanted to do within reason, and we didn't have to think too much about um, the consequences or impact of a, a spontaneous decision and what we had to do to make that happen. And then all of a sudden, this little innocent human being, a little child, came into our lives and literally gained control over our entire world. Before we could do anything else, we had to think about uh, who's going to keep the baby? Or is this a good time for us to go without the baby? And we learned to, our sleeping patterns became very different. We would uh, stay awake when the baby was awake and we went to sleep when the baby went to sleep. Literally this child began to control our lives and the child didn't even know she was doing it. And then we had a second one and she did the exact same thing. And I've since learned that that's what babies do. They take over when they come in and their parents basically begin to develop their lives around this child. Isaiah wrote, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This child who was born of Mary, this child born and placed in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, this child born when angels sang Gloria and Excelsius Deo, this child born when wise ones came from afar bearing gifts. This child who was born into a world torn by strife and hatred and division and pain and poverty for so many continues to be born anew wherever men and women say, I'll follow him. I'll follow him as my savior. I'll follow him as my Lord. Because when this child grew up, he said his reason for coming, again quoting Isaiah from the 61st chapter, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to blind, to set at liberty all those who are oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This child, when he grew up, he came to show us the way to live lives of love, lives of compassion, lives of goodness, lives of kindness, lives of judgment. This child came to show us how to change the world. So this Christmas, help us change the world and make a new commitment to go out from this day to let this Christmas day be the first day of a new world. God bless you. God keep you. Have a blessed Christmas a happy new year, and go on out and change the world.